The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, Team Victoria's Captain, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and his children participated in the Young Riders Race of His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa Endurance Championship, hosted by the Bahrain International Endurance Village under the patronage of His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, First Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports Chairman of the General Sports Authority and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee. Throughout the stages of the 60-kilometer race, His Highness Sheikh Nasser was keen to provide guidance and advice and transfer his expertise in the endurance sport to his children. Her Highness Sheikh Hashima bin Nasser, His Highness Sheikh Hamad bin Nasser, and His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Nasser. On the occasion, His Highness asserted that holding junior endurance races aims to support the younger category of the riders and instill the love of endurance sport in their minds as they will be the nucleus of Bahrain's future endurance squads. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad congratulated his children following their successes in finishing the race. He honored Her Highness Sheikh Hashima bin Nasser, His Highness Sheikh Hamad bin Nasser, and His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Nasser, and His Highness Sheikh Hamdan bin Nasser. Under the patronage of His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the first deputy chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, chairman of the General Sports Authority and president of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa Endurance Championship hosted by the Bahrain International Endurance Village was launched. The races witnessed the participation of 215 riders in international and qualifying races, including 120 kilometer and 100 kilometer distances as well as the local 100 kilometer race and the local qualifying races for 40 kilometers and 80 kilometer distance distances. The races included multiple stages featuring strong competition and high speeds. Bahrain International Endurance Village is hosting the main race for the Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa Cup for private stables in the 120 kilometer distance category amidst a wide participation from riders and stables. The race is expected to be thrilling and competitive as participants strive to claim a spot on the winner's podium and secure one of the top three positions. Under the patronage of His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Chairman of the General Sports Authority and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, a ceremony was held for the foundation stone laying of Bahrain World Aquatic Center, attended by senior state officials, guests and Bahrain national swimming team players. The World Aquatic and ba the Bahrain Olympic Committee laid the foundation stone for the establishment of the Bahrain World Aquatic Center at the University of Technology Bahrain in partnership with Gulf Finance House GFH Financial Group and the Bahrain Swimming Association. His Highness Sheikh Khalid expressed 
pleasure at the new achievement, noting that it represents a new step towards establishing a global center for water sports in the kingdom. His Highness stressed that the project will boost water sports in the region and will add to the kingdom's status as a pioneering global sporting hub, expressing congratulations to the partners for their efforts to develop the project. His Highness Sheikh Khaled underlined the importance of the Bahrain World Aquatic Center and embracing renowned swimmers from Bahrain and abroad, as well as linking science with sports in one of the most successful sports projects launched in partnership with the private sector. His Highness stressed that the Bahrain Olympic Committee's keenness to strengthen its partnership with the World Aquatic and cooperation with the GFH Group to make the kingdom a center for developing various water sports. World Aquatic President Dr. Hussein Al Msallam asserted that the project would boost water sports in the Middle East, noting that the Bahrain World Aquatic Center will serve swimmers at the international levels and contribute to preparing a new generation of athletes and trainers, adding that the center would consolidate the kingdom's position as an ideal and distinguished destination for hosting international water sports events. CEO of GFH Financial Group, UTB Board of Directors Chairman Hisham al Reyes expressed pride in the pioneering project which will attract the world water sport community to Bahrain as well as meet the needs of local athletes, students and members of the community. The state of the art center, the first of its kind to be established by World Aquatics in the Middle East. It includes the construction of two swimming pools, a 50 meter long one for swimming and a 5 meter deep one for diving. Both pools will be built according to the Olympic specifications with 1,000 seats for the public. The horse bleak owned by Abdullah Fawzi Nas won the Bahrain Aluminium Company Alba Cup for the main eighth round in the 14th horse race of the season. The race, which is organized by the Russian Equestrian and Horse Racing Club at Al Rafa Sakhir, witnessed the attendance of their highnesses, sponsors, and horse racing fans. The chairman of the board of directors of Bahrain Aluminium Company Alba, Khalid Armehi, presented the winners with Alba Cup trophies. The trophy for the main eighth round was awarded to the winning owner, Abdullah Fauzinas. The trophy for the second round was presented to the winning owner, Ibrahim Rashid. The third round trophy went to the winning jockey, Haider Ibrahim. The fourth round trophy was awarded to the winning owner, Hadi Ibrahim Al Afu. The fifth round trophy was presented to the winning owner, Hussein Ibrahim Al Afu. Additionally, Khaled Rumehi presented the sixth round trophy to the winning owner, Ibrahim Al Afu. Then he presented the seventh round trophy to His Highness, Sheikh Isa bin Muhammad bin Isa Al Khalifa. The CEO of Alba, Ali Al Baqali, presented the first round trophy to Sheikh Daej bin Salman bin Mubarak Al Khalifa. The race consisted of eight rounds. The national initiative launched by the Consumer Protection Directorate of the Ministry of Industry and Commerce concerned with exempting businesses from promotional campaign fees during November and December coinciding with the National Day's celebrations witnessed a great turnout from businesses across all the governorates. Bahrain Technology Company Society BTEC organized a seminar in the presence of speakers and experts from the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. These speakers emphasized the importance of enhancing the presence of Bahraini ICT companies in the Saudi market, pointing out that the technological leap witnessed by Saudi Arabia along with its strong economic foundations, diverse business tools and robust relationships 
present a significant platform for Bahraini companies to expand their operations, enter fruitful partnerships, and contribute to driving economic growth in the Kingdom of Bahrain. Bahrain International Circuit, the home of motorsport in the Middle East, announced during a public launch event held at the Avenues Bahrain its preparations for hosting the Formula One Gulf Air Bahrain Grand Prix 2024. The historic race, which will mark Bahrain's 20th anniversary of hosting the F1 races, is dubbed 20 years of a modern classic and is scheduled to take place from the 29th of February to the 2nd of March 2024. It will be the inaugural race of the 2024 FIA F1 World Championship. As part of Bahrain GP Live Weekend, attractions are available today and tomorrow from 10 a.m. until 11 p.m. at the Avenues Bahrain, including F1 race simulators, a soft games area, and much more. Driver Sebastian Loeb gave Bahrain Raid Extreme a solid start to the Dakar Rally today as the opening round of this year's World Rally Raid Championship got underway in Saudi Arabia with a 27-kilometer prologue stage. Partnered by Fabian Lurkin in his BRX Pro Drive Hunter, driver Loeb recorded the third fastest time on the day as Sweden's Matthias Ekström set the early pace ahead of American Seth Quintero. Nine-time World Rally champion Loeb is pursuing a first Dakar victory for Bahrain Raid Extreme and for himself after securing around six consecutive stage wins in Saudi 12 months ago on his way to a second successive Dakar runner-up finish. The traditional prologue is an appetizer for the much longer demanding desert stages to follow over the next two weeks in a route of nearly 8,000 kilometers and it took the cars across rocks and sand into the canyons around Al Ula where navigation skills were put to the test. Defending champion and five-time winner Nasser Al Atiyah finished the stage in the 12th spot following a small navigational error. Once again, the empty quarter in the south will provide a dramatic chapter as the cars take on the dunes that cover an area the size of France. The Kingdom of Bahrain has welcomed the success of the United Arab Emirates mediation effort which resulted in the exchange of prisoners of war, POWs, between Russia and Ukraine. Bahrain appreciates the UAE's diplomatic initiatives to solve disputes peacefully and mitigate their humanitarian repercussions. In a statement, the Foreign Affairs Ministry affirmed Bahrain's support for international efforts aimed at reaching a ceasefire and agreeing on a comprehensive and lasting political solution to the Russian-Ukrainian crisis through dialogue and negotiations in accordance with the principles of international law and the United Nations Charter. The ministry added that this will contribute to enhancing security, stability and peace at the region and international levels.